Hi there. I'm standing in this gazebo today at Chippensburg University because I'm talking about men's cross country. The 2016 SU Men's Cross Country squad returned six of its seven runners from a squad that last year finished fifth in all of Division II. It's also a squad that's been picked first in the PSAC preseason poll, but it's only won one conference title in school history. Let's take a look at how the men are shaping up for the 2016 season. Well, after last year finishing so close to being on the podium, getting fifth, uh, only nine points out of fourth place, the, the men right after the race, like we were so close. It's right there and we can do it next year. They already started thinking about this year, started planning for it. So they're very determined, very focused. They know what they need to do and the level of work and commitment that they need to give to make that happen. And uh, it's just, it's exciting to be around that. And uh, we still have a lot of work ahead of us, but we're in a good position right now. Um, last year was the ideal season. We went to nationals and we showed up, performed really, really well. Everybody was kind of hitting all cylinders. Um, got a low stick with Austin McGinley and he's the only one not back, but only missing podium by nine points. Definitely let us stew on that for nine months until we got back here thinking we're nine points away from a podium finish and team trophy. So. Coming in, that really motivates us to get through the season and stay healthy and be fit and go to nationals and make, make a podium finish, hopefully, this year. From season to season, the goal is to start each season a little ahead of where you were the previous season. And then, of course, at the end of the season, be a little bit beyond and ahead of where you had finished the previous season. Uh, the track seasons are very important as far as development uh, with the indoor and outdoor uh, running and and we made some nice gains across the board with our our guys to uh, take the next step developmentally and we're going to see you know athletes like Kieran Sutton who ran 29 14 uh, is definitely a different athlete and and Alex Bala who went like 30 30 for 10k uh, they're different athletes than they were last cross-country season and uh, you know so they're going to be able to hopefully step it up and and uh, you know, get up into that top 40, 30 at the NCA meet where we need them to be. Um, with the season that we have, like the length that it is, it's really important to take it day by day, just kind of step by step. And uh, the biggest thing this year is going to be doing the little things because we know we're going to be uh, firing on all cylinders on the workouts, hitting the times that we need to, getting the runs in that we need. So it comes back onto the things like nutrition, getting in the recovery that we need to, and uh, just focusing on form and the basics really. Yeah, we, we do have an interesting mix of group on our, our, our team members this year. We have uh, 14 on the roster. Uh, we do have our six of our top seven returners. And uh, we are uh, strategically redshirting a, a couple guys that won't be on that roster, and we'll have them around for next year, which is exciting. Uh, but we have a, a nice group of young guys coming in that are very talented, run some outstanding times and have showed some good fitness in our time trial that we did last night. Um, and we also have some uh, a transfer in Sean Reardon from Adams State, and it'll be very interesting to see where he fits into the mix here. You know, usually I, I say it's going to be tough for a freshman to come in and contribute right away into that top seven, but I'm usually proven wrong. Last year it was Dominic Stroh, who proved me wrong the year before that, Cole Nisley, and uh, you know, and I think Alex Bala the year before that. So uh, it'll be interesting to see who steps it up and uh, and where we are come October, November. Okay. Uh, it's always nice getting back with this group of guys because it's such a laid back and close knit family. But uh, even with the freshmen that are coming in, even after a day and a half, we can already tell that they're a perfect fit for this team and. They're going to get along with everybody, which is the biggest part of like what our success came from last year because everybody had each other's backs, even whenever it wasn't a scorer as opposed to just somebody putting in the work at practice. Everybody mattered, and it was a whole piece to our overall success. Is, and we all have this online running log too, so even when we're not together with someone, we're kind of monitoring like who's doing what, kind of staying like close contact because you know that our top seven or eight or even our top ten are going to be really, really close. So if you're not doing what you need to, you could go from being our number two guy in the first few weeks to dropping all the way down to our 10 or 11 and not making nationals. So 
it's definitely accountability. It's also a bit of friendly competition to see who gets where. But I mean, at the end of the day, we're happy to see the team succeed. Even if you're not at nationals or regionals, you know, you were part of something, you helped train, you might've raced them well. Like, you know that you were there and helped them succeed. There's, there's outstanding schools in our conference and region with a, a lot of history as far as distance running goes. And, uh, you know, the traditional powerhouses are Lock Haven and Edinburgh that we're uh, often battling with. Uh, we were actually picked number one last year in the conference. And I remember Coach Russell at Lock Haven used that as a, as a motivator. And Lock Haven did win the conference meet last year. Uh, we were able to get the best of them at the regionals and at the NCA. But uh, with that number one ranking, we have uh, the target on our back, and that's right where I want to be. I'm um, so excited to be back. A little bit of pressure from last year, but I mean, I feel like we'll flourish in it, knowing that we got a big group of returners coming in, and this is also the first time since my freshman year we had a big group of freshmen coming in. So we got a good mix of um, some experience, and then we got some new talent come in. They came in pretty fit, ran well at the time trial, so I'm really interested to see where that goes this season. Uh, yeah, I would just say I'm mo like most happy about not having to run on my own anymore. That's always nice. Uh, but I would just say it's nice coming in with some real high expectations. It's finally starting to sink in, and I'm really excited to see what this team can do this year. Well, the summer was a very important time for our team to get in the base building, and uh, they, they seem to have done the work, uh, and now we're ready to get back to ship. I was really missing our team, so I'm glad that they're back, and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting on with the season, uh, getting to some competitions, and uh, you know, continuing to develop this squad. And they have such a great attitude and they're fun to work with. And I really think we're gonna do some great things.